Hey everybody, Kyle here, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. In the last part, we started doing some stuff in Mayhem Temple. We got, we got a little bit done, not too much, and there's still a lot that we need to do in this world. And we're going to start off the rest of this world by kicking this boulder. Yeah, there we go. So I was right in saying that there was a flight pad underneath there, and that's actually going to be kind of useful. Because we actually need that to get one of the collectibles in this level. So, yeah. Uh, oh, wait. I actually still need this guy. There is there is something that I forgot to do with him down here in this door. Hopefully I can make it in time. Uh, like, I I guess I would I, I probably would have gone straight there if I had actually remembered that I needed to do this before I was, like, heading back the other way. But, yeah, I think we want to take him... Is it this way? Oh, if it's not this way, I'm gonna feel really dumb. It's gotta be this way. Yes, it is. Okay. But I don't think I'm gonna make it. Shoot. 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 It's right there. Oh. Okay. Hold on a sec. Okay. Let's go ahead and give this another try. Yeah, so there's this weird looking temple here. It's more. Well, maybe. I was going to say it's more Mayan looking than the one in the actual main area, but I don't think so. Maybe that one's actually more Mayan looking than that one. But yeah, so we need to kick that open because that is the only way to open it. Uh, maybe with an item later in the game you could kick it open, but or you could blow it open, but I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm just going to let the, the timer run out on this. But yeah, so now that we've done that, we've pretty much done everything that we need to do with Mumbo. So we're actually going to like take him back to we're going to take him back to his house. Man, there's like cars driving around all loudly outside. Yeah, today's actually I'm recording this on St. Patrick's Day. And of course, you know, since I live in a college town, I don't know how many times I've actually mentioned that, but all the kids are out partying and I'm sitting here at 9.30 at night recording banjo Tui. Goodness gracious. But yeah, so, and, and it, you know, these, these kids get loud when they're out partying and stuff. Like every, every weekend night, I have to deal with it. I feel like an old man for saying that stuff, but it's true. Like, goodness gracious. I get it. Y'all want to go out and have fun. I totally understand that. And I'd be right there with you if I was actually a super social person who wants to go out and hang out at bars and stuff. But that's just not me. So, uh, but come on. Like, there's, you know, you don't have to speed up and down these roads. And it's not like they're back roads. Like, they're, they're main roads in the city. But whatever. I don't even know. Okay, so... Let's come up here to this little temple thing. So, kind of going back to Banjo-Kazooie in Mumbo's Mountain. Now, okay, yeah, that, that was actually one thing I was going to say about this world. It is fairly similar to Mumbo's Mountain. The, I mean, there are key differences, but it's similar because it's it, A, the first world of, of the game as it was in Banjo-Kazooie. Well, Mumbo's Mountain was the first world in Banjo-Kazooie. But it's it's simple. It's it's set up in a semi-linear design compared to some of the other worlds. And it's just got like this really... Um, I guess, what's, what's the word to... How do I describe it? Like, ancient aesthetic to it. Which is really cool. But, yeah. And I think both actually had Mumbo's, like, voice in them, uh, or Mumbo's sampling in them at some point for the music. Anyways, this guy, what the heck, he's got, like, some kind of chieftain hat. Help, Chief Blutz, Blotazin, find it, and I'll reward you with the jiggy. I think he said a jiggy? Well, in that case, great, I'll open the other door for you, the other door for you, but please hurry. Okay, so apparently he's lost some kind of ancient relic of Target Zan, which is a guy that we haven't met yet, but we will eventually, and that's going to be a lot of fun. And he's asked us to find it, so that's what we're going to be doing. 
Now I think somewhere in here there is a honeycomb piece. Yeah, right there. So that is the first one we picked up. This is an extra honeycomb piece. I keep forgetting that I gave him that country accent. I need to actually start doing that in other dialogue too. Like when he pops up randomly in the game. Um, yeah. So that is going to allow us to... Once, once we get enough of them, and I think... The, the amount you need for this increases every time you do it, but you use them to get extra honeycomb pieces. So very similar to Banjo-Kazooie, except in, like in Banjo-Kazooie there was like six in each level that you collected and then you got your extra honeycomb piece. But in this game, you, you collect so many, you take them to someone and then you trade them in for the extra honeycomb pieces. Uh, oh, there's a move here, okay. Well, I'm going to have to remember to come back for that, but first, actually, tell you what, I'll go ahead and get, I'll go ahead and get this. Man, I'm like killing myself. Holy crap. Yeah, there's this right here. A treff clubble. Nice one, punk. Clabble traps, treble claps are worth a mighty 20 notes. Okay. Yeah. So the regular note things that we were picking up were only giving us like five eight, uh, notes. But those ones give you 20, which is awesome. And that actually rounds out our note total for this level. So those are all collected. And we don't have to worry about them. Oh, come on, really? Gosh. I was hoping I could make it up there while I was still up there. But whatever. That sentence, that sentence didn't make any sense. Oh, well. Yeah, so let's get back up there and let's go ahead and get this move. Now, I think you're meant to get that with another move. So this is, I think, supposed to be the last move that you get in this level, but that's okay. Okay, so he needs 30 notes, which we have. Let's see. Here's a move that's a load of fun. Now use Kazooie as a handheld gun. Z fires eggs both high and low. Target Zan's temple, you can go. Oh my gosh. I think, like, that singing reminded me of, uh, of uh, someone singing on oh, what the... whose line is it anyway yeah because there's like when, when they do some of their improvising when they have to sing a song like some of those guys on there can't sing worse shit um, I know Wayne Brady though he has a voice he has a voice of a fucking angel but uh well not really but yeah but the other guys like they can't sing that well and that's what I think I sounded like there oh boy White guys who can't sing, that's what I sounded like. Uh, anyways, okay. So I guess I'm going to do this now. Um, I could wait, but that's okay. So, this is what that move he gave us was. We go into these levels. or the Okay, if you go into certain areas in the game, you go into this first person view. And you can do all kinds of things with it. Um, well, okay, actually, I think there's only two sections of the game where you do this. But it go, this is like a Doom-esque thing that we have to do. Throughout the burning I will now challenge you to collect the sacred statues and find your prize. Okay, these voices are getting out of control. That, I don't know if, if I should give that voice... Give him a voice like I gave him that sounds like demonic. Or if I should give him a voice like... Um, the guy from Secrets of the Hidden Temple. Yeah. Because, uh... That, that guy had a pretty cool voice, but that, that was a really cool show overall. Um, I, don't, I don't really remember too much of it. I remember kids did these challenges, and... Okay, let me get oriented here. Yeah. And then, like, you would get pieces of the aggro crag at some point, and there would be times where, like, they had to actually climb up this statue thing, and there was chieftains that would, like pop out of the walls and grab you. I always thought that would have been really cool to go through because it would have been it would have been very similar similar to like being in a video game. And there was like a map at the bottom of the, the screen that they had anytime a kid was actually doing that. Man. They should like oh can I can I aim in this? Oh gosh, what the heck? Oh I can, but it's all jonky or wonky. Alright, I'm not gonna die to this guy. Oh, holy shit, why can't I aim up in this this area? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, yeah, he is like quick firing like a motherfucker. Um So how to Okay. 
let me let me figure out this dilemma I'm in real quick before I get back to saying more about that. Okay. I have to like actually aim up. Oh, this is stupid. Okay. There we go. Got him. Well, I guess that was a little easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, I don't I forget how many of these things I have to collect, but yeah. Uh but yeah, like I I miss a lot of those like Nickelodeon gas shows. That's what that that broadcasting thing was called or that that block I guess you would call it um yeah Nickelodeon gas and I think at one point it actually became a channel on like I, I think you only got it if you had like a like a cable um box or something I don't know like advanced cable I I honestly like not to get too off topic but I haven't had cable in a while or like anything more than basic cable because anything that I watch is on YouTube and I think a lot of people my age are getting to that point but yeah so um yeah but Nickelodeon Gas though they had a lot of shows on there and I always I always wanted to be on one for for whatever reason I mean I think it was just because like I thought the game sounded fun and, and there was just an ambulance that just went past my apartment Gosh, I hope that didn't involve any of those crazy kids that are out partying, but I, I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, so like, I just thought it would be really cool to be in some of those games, and then they also got, they got really cool prizes. Like, they got freaking, um, now you gotta remember, this was like the, like, these shows were, were on big time in like the, oh, not bad, mortal. Ten statues gains you entry to my slightly sacred cham chamber. Okay. Yeah, so we need to find all of those things to get into his most sacred chambers, I guess. Um, yeah, so you, they would have prizes like fucking Super Nintendos and Playstations. I know keyboards were a big thing and other musical instruments for whatever reason. Like, they, they had partnerships, I'm assuming, with... Yamaha, because that's the brand that I remember the most for some reason. Um, and yeah, but I don't even know how you would get into those things. Like, I don't know if you had to, like, apply, which, I mean, I guess that sort of makes sense. But I think, I think it was mostly like you had to, like, audition for them. Because that's what I think. I, I don't think a lot of those shows were, like, actual kids. I mean, I mean, obviously they were kids, but I think they were more like um, actor kids that they hired, or or maybe not, maybe not, because those were just game shows. I mean, obviously for actual cartoons, they're like like kid actors. Oh my gosh! Okay, hold on. That's actually those those that egg thing right there is gonna be really useful, but I don't want to grab that yet. I think it responds, but. I'll get that in a minute. Um, oh, and there's, is there a Jinjo here that I have to collect? Oh, crap, don't go in there yet. What the heck are you doing? Um, okay, I'm just going to back out there because uh, we want to go in there, but not yet. And obviously, there's a, I guess there's a Jinjo here that I have to get. Ugh. And I think I'm collecting 20 of these things. So I'll get the I'll get them all, and then we can come back to that room. Uh, what else was I saying about that rant? Um, yeah. So never got to be any part of that. Were you a part of a Nick Gas show? Leave a comment below. Goo. That's a that's a Game Grumps joke. I don't know if I, I'm sure they're they're making fun of other like. Uh, oh shoot! Come on, back off. I think they're making fun of other YouTubers who do stuff like that, who like beg for likes. And I've obviously never been the kind of person to do that because it just, it sounds really cheap to me. Like, I mean, obviously at the end of every video, I'm like, hey, if you like the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, yeah. Because I, that's just normal. Like that's, that's just trying to bring in like more subs and stuff. But yeah, I've never done it excessively and I can never bring myself to do so. Um, okay. Most impressive, mortal 20 statues gains you entry to my really sacred cham chamber. Okay, yeah, so I think he only has two chambers. So I think we can move on and do that. And man, this like this like took up most of the video, which is kind of sad. But, oh well. 
Let's see. I gotta get that Jinjo, though. Because I don't... I mean, I don't know where that's at. I need to get him before I can leave this area. Um... And I don't want to, like, cut out me finding him, because... If I do that, if someone's, like, actually by some amazing chance watching this to get help with completing the game like I need to show where that's at otherwise I'm not really doing an effective job here um I've always thought about like when, when I'm doing something like this that requires you to like go through a maze like actually having it in the video like a map of the area in the video but I don't know. That's just too much editing. Well, I mean, no, like, okay, that's not the complete thought of the idea, but like, oh, what? Oh, he respawned because I came back into this area. Well, shit. Um, but yeah, like, having a map of that area and then, like, having a little cursor that kind of follows me around that area. But that would be a lot of editing. Like, I, I'm not good enough with editing to do something like that. Something as ambitious as that. Um, okay, where are you at, Mr. Jinjo? I might just have to cut to where he is and then show a map of this area on the screen and point out where the Jinjo is on there. Because I don't know. And I don't want to sit here and try to make up random commentary until I find it, so... Yeah. Let me just, uh, I'll just meet you guys back when I find the Jinjo. Okay, I found them. So... I guess I can, like, save myself some editing trouble and actually show you where this is. Because it's actually kind of close to where we need to end up going to, like, complete this area. So, it's just right over here, around the corner, from where Target Sand's chamber things were. So, yeah. This is where we need to actually go into. Now, I think this was his slightly sacred chamber, so I guess we'll go in there first. We'll see what makes it slightly, um, sacred. Well, I guess not much besides the fact that there's just a Jinjo there. Or not a Jinjo, a Jiggy. So, cool. Um, now his really sacred chamber. That's really sacred for a reason, as we're gonna find. So, <laughs> I guess we'll go in there next. As is the, uh, sensible progression. Let's go. All right, I mean, I still can't get over that aiming. Like, what the heck? Why can't they make? Why couldn't they have made that like normal or something? Goodness. Like, why can't you just push it up to aim? Anyways, look, Banjo, there's another Jiggy. This is just too easy. Yeah, two in a row. We'll take it. Yep, we'll have the game finished in no time. Oh man, they they've realized that they're in a game. Oh man, no. <laughs> there's a lot of fourth wall breaking in this game, and I love it. Hold the mortal. Thought you'd get another Jiggy that easily, eh? You must complete and assemble the aggro crag. No, wait, I think the aggro crag was actually the name of the guy who, who talked, I think. Uh, the man got a target shooting. Prepare to meet thy dart-ridden doom. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, so this is actually our first boss battle of the game. Which is quite exciting, I will say. Um, yeah. So, with all of these boss battles, I can't feel my legs anymore. Oh my god. Sounds morbid. Yeah, so, with all the bosses in this game, there are, um, like, they have an HP counter, which is what that is, in the bottom left of the screen. So, oh gosh. He really does have darts. Holy crap. Yeah, so we need to shoot him so many times. His layers break. He can't fill his legs. Then he couldn't fill his his knees, which I guess are part of his legs. And probably after this first part, or this next part, he probably won't be able to fill his hips. And then his stomach punch. And then his chest. Wait, he doesn't have... Wait, okay, yeah, his chest is part of his head. No, that's just his head, okay. So this is like his stomach, I guess. Oh. Yeah, we got the strafing that we can use, which I think as a kid... Wait, am I not close enough? Hit it! Oh, gosh. Okay, hold on. Gosh. No, stop! Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, I am... 
losing a lot of health here. Definitely don't want to die. Luckily, though, he gives you these enemies that you can kill in between his uh, layer things. That really helps. There's another one? Okay. But yeah, I didn't know that this, this strafing was a thing in this game. Like, I had played other games that had strafing in them, but I just didn't think, like, it would have been in this game. Okay. Okay, stop. I'm not gonna die to this. Tell you what, I'm just gonna... Oh, gosh. There we go. This is working. This is an effective strategy, I guess. Um, okay, did... No, I guess we didn't win. Okay. Now I guess we gotta destroy his head? Man. These things are rough. Or at least, like, this game mode is rough. Like, trying to aim around it and stuff. Or, or not knowing what's around you, I guess. Okay. No, you've beaten me. Now suffer as I invoke my sacred self-destruction. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you want to get away from him because, uh... Okay, oh, God, what the heck? Uh, I guess I hit the wall behind me. Okay, I'll take it. But yeah, so that is Target Zan, the first ba boss of the game, defeated. And now, we get his Jiggy. Hell yeah. Okay. So I think that's actually going to be it for this video. We took care of Target Zan's temple. We still haven't actually been to the other part of this this level, which is interesting. There's like that whole other section that we haven't been to. And there's still quite a few things that we're going to be doing in this level before we've completed it. But I think... I mean, there's like a mini game we have to do. So maybe... Ugh. I think we can do it all in the next part. I really hope so. But yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And I hope you will join me next time when we continue on in through Mayhem Temple and hopefully complete it. So yeah, see you guys then.